I am Snigdhadev Dotto and with my teammates Shirin Akhtar and Shivam Sekseria, we have uh, presented this project security for e-methods and procedures. So it's uh, security for e-cryptography, digital certificates and digital signatures. That is what we will be talking on. And my friend uh, Shivam would take from here. Hello sir, uh, hello friends. So at first we would be going to introduce something about web, uh, about today's web. The web has, uh, uh, today's web has become an indispensable tool which consists of several aspects of business, education and personal life. Today the web has changed the ways in which we buy products, socialize with our friends and understand the world acquire news, voice opinions and even entertain ourselves. The power of internet also allows for efficient, inexpensive collection of vast amounts of information, sometimes with consumer consent and sometimes without consumer consent. Hence comes the e-security. So e-security uh, includes a set of procedures mechanisms and computer programs for authenticating the source of information and guaranteeing the process. It is a set of guidelines that are designed to allow safe transactions on the web. It also refers to the steps and protocols in place to protect, to protect the sale and purchase of goods and online services. Several methods and procedures have already been implemented to enforce the security standards. Next slide please. Yeah, so first we will talk about what e-commerce e security is all about and next we will see the requirements for e-commerce security. So moving on, so e-commerce e security is a protection of e-commerce assets from unauthorized access, use, alteration or destruction. E-commerce security is the set of protocols that allows e-commerce transactions to be made in a safe environment and thus protecting customers and companies data from threats like phishing, phishing attacks, hacking, credit card, fraud and other etc. So there are six dimensions of e-commerce security which are as follows. Number one is integrity which is prevention against unauthorized data modification. The second one is non-repudiation which is the protection against prevention against any one party from reneging on an agreement after the fact. The third one is authenticity, which is the authentication of data source. Fourth one is confidentiality, which is protection against unauthorized data disclosure. The fifth one is privacy, which is provision of data control and disclosure. And lastly, availability, which is prevention against data delays or removal. Next slide, please. And so, moving on with types of e-security. So, cyber crime is uh, obviously one of the biggest threat to e-commerce. Without proper protocols and security that ensure the transactions are safe, both online shops and customers are at risk. The smaller e-commerce stores being the preferred targets of cyber attacks. Common examples of security threats include hacking, phishing, misuse of personal data, monetary theft, unauthorized provision of services, credit card fraud and many more. So, so some forms of e-security include switching to HTTPS which is secure HTTP, uh, securing our servers and admin panels, ga payment gateway security, Installing antivirus and anti malware software on our systems, securing our website with SSL and SSL uh, certificates, employing multi layer security, e commerce security plugins, and many more. So, uh, next slide will be discussed by my friends. Thank you. Good evening, sir. So as we talked about all of the e-security measures right now, 
So cyber crime is one of the biggest threat to e-commerce. And in addition to all the type of e-securities that my friend mentioned, like switching to HTTPS or SSL certificates, we also have cryptography in e-security. And it is one of the most secure.